Hawaii Volcano Eruption Update. Kilauea Summit Collapse Largest in History USGS reveals Hawaii Volcano Kilauea has undergone the single largest scale collapse witnessed in recent history. Volcanologists at the United States Geological Survey, USGS, revealed. Kilauea's volatile crater has lost around 250 million cubic meters of volume since eruptions began on 3 May this year. The subsiding Halemormor crater summit has lost the equivalent of 100,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Kilauea's draining magma chambers are fooling the summit collapse, the USGS warned on Tuesday, the 19th of June. Two aerial photographs snapped by USGS scientists reveal the extent of the widening crater in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The USGS said, these two photos taken on yesterday's helicopter overflight of the summit show the size of the growing Halemormor crater. Seeing Hawaii Volcano Observatory and Jaga Museum in the view helps to put the crater size in context. A preliminary estimate of summit volume loss is around 250 million cubic meters. At 5.05 a.m. HST, another gas and ash emission from a small subsurface explosion occurred at Kilauea's summit, producing a plume that was blown downwind at about 5,000 featuring above sea level. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halemormor continues in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. The molten rock which has drained from the Halemormor lava lake and Kilauea's underground chambers has pushed into the lower east rift zone. The lava broke out in Leelani estates where dangerous lava flows wreaked havoc in residential areas. More than 570 homes have been lost to the oozing lava and a strong channel of molten rock now flows from a volcanic fissure in Leelani. The USGS recorded lava flow speeds of 17 miles per hour on Wednesday morning. When asked about the likelihood of the Kilauea crater filling up with lava again, the geological agency said it might take many years for lava eruptions to return to the summit. The USGS said, a lava lake occupied nearly the entirety of Halemormor crater before the 1924 eruption. The crater was half the size it was prior to May 2018. The lava lake drained in 1924 as magma intruded into the lower east rift zone, and the crater collapsed and grew. However, this is the largest scale collapse of Halemormor that we've witnessed in historic time. Yes, it will refill with lava. Kilauea is in a very young stage of its life and it's still building itself. Eruptions of lava will return to the summit, but it may take many years. As of Wednesday, the 20th of June, two distinct lava flows are entering the Pacific Ocean in the Kapoho area. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.